Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a little peekaboo box suitable for perhaps a wedding, birthday, Mother's Day, Christmas um, or even the biggest morning tea. I have actually just made one for the biggest morning tea which I'm running at Scrappy Hollow on the 25th of May so that's the one I'm going to actually show you how to make today but they're really good little um, favour boxes for lots of different things whether you put chocolates or little soaps or nuts or lollies or all sorts of goodies in them okay before we get started you'll need to grab a good pair of scissors a mat some double sided tape um, a hole punch a border punch um, and if you've got the everywhere punch that's fantastic if you haven't you may have something else that that's suitable to punch the hole in the front you may have a, a die cutting machine or something but for today I'm actually going to be showing you how easy it is to use the Fiskars everywhere punch for making these it's just fantastic because you can get the holes wherever you want them on your cardstock okay let's get started move these ones out of the way now you'll need a piece of cardstock measuring about eight and a quarter inches by six inches to start with i already buy these in packets of about 50 from my local craft store because i um i'm a big card maker and i often make little party favors for people as well for gifts so i often pre-purchase these but you could just use up some of your own cardstock from leftovers from your scrapbooking or card making as long as it's eight and a quarter by six inches Okay, I'll grab my trimmer and I've got the scoring blade in. So the Fiskars trimmer's got the black scoring blade. And then we're going to score it at two inches. I've already scored this one. Four inches, six inches and eight inches. Okay, that way. So you've scored it, then you turn it round and we score it at two inches this way. Whoops, Let's move a little bit. Okay, Put the trim out of the way. So now we've got scoring at two, four, six, eight, and at the two inch mark down here as well. Okay, now grab your pair of scissors, and we don't need this little rectangle down the bottom here, so we're just going to trim that off. Oh, I've got my Fisketeer scissors here, which are really nice and sharp. Cut that, cut that piece off. And we're also going to cut up these folds to that two inch mark. Okay, from the bottom up. I'm just going to move this over here a bit because I can't see in my own light at the moment. Okay, this way here as well. So you end up you've got like four flaps down the bottom. Now we just fold those, fold along all the score lines. You can use a bone scorer if you have one, like I have here. And so we're all folded up. Okay, and even this little bit as well. If you haven't got a bone scorer, use the back of your thumbnail, maybe a butter knife. Go make sure you go along them till they're really nice and crisp and then go along these other ones as well at the two four six eight mark now i've got one already pre-cut here somewhere I'll grab this one okay so we've done all our folding and now we're ready to punch the little window in the front this is where we need the everywhere punch so i'm just going to grab my punch i'm going to move my mat out of the way because when you're punching with a punch like the everywhere punch where you're punching down you need a really solid table underneath you or a very solid surface sometimes the sponging in the mat uh, makes it even um, harder to punch so I've just removed it so I'm straight on the wooden table okay now we pop the base underneath the second rectangle in I'm going to pop the grid from the everywhere punch and it's magnetic so see how I can move it around anywhere I want to put it that's why I love this punch 
Okay, now there's a little grid down the bottom. Can you see that? I'm lining it up with the lines in this little grid and my folds in the box where I think that I want to punch it. Pop the cartridge on top. And now when you use this punch, you'll hear a punch and a crunch. It's sort of, you'll hear it twice. Sure that went through. We'll just try again. Okay. The reason I did that was because the first time when you push with these, it just these prongs push into the cardstock. But the second click you hear is when it actually um, punches out. Okay, so they've got these three prongs underneath. So you've got to make sure you hear the second click. It's a punch and a crunch. And then this is a little punched out piece. Now normally with most, pu most punches, you use this piece for something else. But for this, we don't really want that. We're wanting to put little windows in our projects. But if you wanted to, you still could. You could put, I've got one here where I've just put a bread to cover up those holes and I can use that on a card or something. You could put a little flower on it if you wanted to, like I have here, I've actually put the little flower on the little square punched out piece at the back. Not sure whether you can see that. Okay, so now we've got our um, hole punch. Now we need a little piece of um, a little piece of acetate, just a little clear piece of acetate I've cut here, um, and that's going to um, fit on top of there. It'll be about two inches by two inches by about two and a quarter. I've cut that out. Then you just run a little bit of double sided tape along either side until you've got something like this. Oops, I'm just going to swap over here. Okay, so now we put, we've put the double sided tape on here. I'll put the cellophane on. Now pop your double sided tape down two sides of the flaps down the bottom. You don't really need it on the fourth one. You only need it on three of them. So down two sides like that, you can see that, and also on the outside here, this narrow piece. Okay, now I've got a piece over here, I've just got to find it that I've already okay, pulled all the double sided tape off. Whoops, I'm stuck on you. Okay, I've also numbered it so that I've got one, two, three, four. Now you can do it the other way. You can go one from left to right or right to left. But you don't really need the double sided tape on one of the um, squares down the bottom. Now I haven't pulled it off the side here, so I need to pull that off. And we're going to start assembling the box now. So I take number one and goes on top of number two. Number three then goes underneath and number four goes under here and then we do the side last okay so you just line that up and squeeze it it's also a good idea to get a bone scorer or a knife or something and go along that inside edge to make sure the double sided tape is holding okay so you end up, you've got your window in the front and you want the one with the um, the narrow piece at the back. Okay, so so far we've got this bit done. Now what we also need to do is um, cut a two, and, um, a two inch by two inch square. Okay, now I've got some uh, piece of blue here. I've already got one pre-cut, let me see here. Okay, so a two inch square, it can be any colour you like. On this one I've got a dark blue of piece of scrap I had left over. I thought it looked good for the biggest morning tea. So this is where we need our punch as well. I've got their sunburst fiscus punch here and I've got my two inch square. I'm going to pop it in the front. And there's a little um, indentation here on the front of... The, the Fiskars punch, all the Fiskars border punches have them and that's the centre of the design. It tells you where the middle of the design is. So now I'm going to just line that up and you can also look at the grid to make sure it's in the right position. 
move that out of the way, turn it around and do the other side as well. Okay, so eyeball it again so that it's in the center, push it right to the back, and then I use, I've got to turn it this way so I can see it, then I use the grid down the bottom to make sure this it's evenly spaced and press. Okay, get those out of the way. Now all the border punches have like a, about a two inch design so because you've cut it at two inches by two inches they'll all work the same way so it doesn't matter what um, border punch you've got um, if it's a Fiskars one. Um, the one on here was threading water you can see that's a different design but this one's sunburst so they all look really lovely no matter which one you use. Okay, so now I'm going to, this was just a scrap of some Heidi Grace paper I had left over, so I'm just going to fold that in half, bring back my box, that's going to be our topper. Now we take the box and you push with your fingers into the middle of the sides and push from the front to the back at the same time, so that you're squeezing it. Can you see that? Not sure whether you can see me squeezing here. Okay, I'm doing it with fingers. You've got to hold it with your fingers. Then I'm going to pop that on top. Now, if you're going to fill this, you'd have to fill it before you put the top on. But for now, I haven't got anything in it. So I'm just going to squeeze it like so. And then just need a hole punch. So I've got my Fiskars one eighth of an inch. I think it is hole punch. I'm going to punch two holes, one about there and one about there. And then just take a piece of ribbon, a piece over here, um, pull your ribbon through. If you were making this for kids, you'd probably go with really bright colours. If you're making it for Mother's Day, you might want to do it in white, black and red or pinks or uh, whatever colour whatever colour you think Mum would like. Now we're just going to tie a bow. Oh. Okay, I'm trying to do this in a hurry now, so I'm not really doing the bow justice, but let's try it again. Okay, and then just trim off your ribbon with your scissors. Okay, and you can have the bow however you want it. I like to have it on a bit of an angle. Okay, and we're all done. So. Um, what I did for the Biggest Morning Tea, I've just added, um, I printed off some of these logos with the Biggest Morning Tea and the cup on it and we're going to attach them at the bottom of our little favours and the participants can put whatever they like in them. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that and remember you could use this for birthdays, wedding, little um, wedding favours, um, engagement party. Um, baby showers, lots of things you could use it with but you can see how versatile the Fiskars Everywhere punch is. I've got, just before I go, I've got a few samples of cards that I've done so if I clear these out of the way, I'll see if I can grab them for you. Okay, here's one, a card I did using the circle um, cartridge, you can see how and I've stamped underneath, it's rather cute. Another one, the same idea, this time I've punched along the edge just to give it a bit more, a little bit more interest. This one I did for Easter, gave it to my hubby. Okay, it's got the circle punched out in the middle. I've also used some of the lever punches and handwritten. I love writing on the black card stock in white. This is another card I did whereby I've used a circle punch, uh, used the everywhere circle punch and then I've made my own flower inside. For Christmas I loved using them this year for Christmas and putting little angels and little Christmas trees and things on the inside, so inside the hole. Okay, 
um, here's a square one I did recently okay showing you how you can line up the four squares and make um, a window card and the latest one I've done is a slider car for my grandson Sam for later in the year when he turns two and I've used a circle um, everywhere punch here and then I put a little photo of him in here and then you keep pulling and I've got happy birthday <laughs> you pull it right out and I've actually written dear Sam happy birthday love from Nana and Pa Dwyer on the back put another little photo in there so lots of ideas that you can um, uh, play around with with the circle uh, everywhere punch or the square everywhere punch so hope you've enjoyed that and um, have fun punching Bye.